Ramadan reruns. Many of us look forward to Ramadan each year. Shaitan's all locked up, the doors of Jannah are open, and the reward for good deeds are multiplied. Isn't it funny some of the questions we get asked during Ramadan each year? Hey, yo, Ali, you want some cake? This stuff is good, man. This stuff is good. Oh, oh, no thanks. Fine. How about some lemonade? No, I'm fasting. For how long? About 30 days. 30 days? You're gonna die! Huh? No, 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 no. Hey, Bob, Ali says I can drink food for 30 days. 30 days! It's like every year I have the same conversation. SubhanAllah, Ramadan is the best month of the year. This is a time we should be focusing on improving our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Increasing our good deeds and decreasing our bad ones. But for some reason we tend to do those silly things each year. Silly things? Yeah, silly things. And it starts right from the beginning of Ramadan. Moon sighting wars. Even before Ramadan begins, people are debating over moon sighting. You would think after 1400 years, we probably figured it out by now. But we haven't. Every year it's the same thing. We're going with Saudi. We are going with Pakistan. Our masjid will inshallah start on Friday. Our masjid will inshallah start on Saturday. Brother, we are going to start on Sunday. No matter what. According to our calculations, brother, it will happen on Sunday and there's no way for it to be before Sunday according to our calculations. Huh? Brother, it cannot happen. So we are studying on Sunday. The moon was sighted yesterday, bro. Not according to our calculations, brother. It cannot happen. <sighs> brother, please. Let us unite the Ummah using our calculations. What? That's not even part of the Sunnah. The brother said he saw the moon yesterday. We should start when the moon is sighted. Why are we making things so complicated? It's actually simple. Sight the moon, start Ramadan. Sight the moon, Ramadan ends. You know what? We should make a song out of it. When the moon is sighted, Ramadan begins. When the moon is sighted, Ramadan surely ends. Tell your mother, no, tell your father, stop. tell okay. tell okay. your stop, friends. Okay, stop, 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 stop. La 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 Brother, we will not do calculation. Please, don't and sing. And when... Okay. Sorry. Weight gain mystery. Some people figure that since it's Ramadan, they're going to be fasting for 30 days and they're going to be losing weight. Unfortunately, many of us are gaining weight. Did I put on weight? Uh, be honest. <laughs> yeah, big time, bro. Woo! Not that honest. Do you know how we get fat during Ramadan? I'll tell you how we get fat during Ramadan. We cook all day and eat all night. That's how we get fat during Ramadan. Words of advice. If you can't say the words, I'm full, you're going to gain weight during Ramadan. Bro, what happened? Did you get married? Oh, this? Oh, no, brother. This is Ramadan, brother. Ramadan. Getting the short stick at the Iftar lines. If there's a star in the masjid and 100 people have come to eat, please take enough so everyone has enough. I know you're hungry, bro, but when there's 100 pieces of chicken and there's 100 people ready to eat, it gets kind of crazy when you take 6 pieces of chicken and the guy behind you takes 5 pieces of chicken. You know what we get at the end of the line? Iceberg lettuce and half a piece of pita bread. Do you know what I'm saying? No, you don't know what I'm saying. Because you're eating all the chicken. Brothers and sisters, I know you're hungry. We are all hungry. But piling up 10 pounds of food only to throw half of it away is just wrong. There are people around the world who are starving, who don't have enough food to even break their fast. The fact is the majority of the world lives in poverty, and they lack the food that we take for granted every day. So that's something to think about before the next time you throw half your food away. Silent and deadly during Tarawee. When it comes to Salat, you hear a lot of burping. You see, some people eat so much that they have no room for anything. Not even for air. But all that air has to come out. So they start <coughs> burping. <coughs> While you're trying to <laughs> pray. Have you ever tried concentrating during Tarawee? Only to have odors of digested biryani and homeless pass you by? At least with loud burps, you have a warning that is coming. So you can let it pass by. The worst burps are the silent and deadly ones because you don't see them coming. I mean, you don't hear them coming. Or, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. It's those people that are praying like this. It's nasty. When you're blowing this way and that way, that's me. I'm smelling this stuff. I'm trying to concentrate on my prayers, man. Let's just try to eat a little bit less so we have a little bit more room. Maybe for some air? You know what I'm saying? Super speed taught a wee. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Ramadan's 30 days, brother. We must finish the Quran before 30 days, brother! Again! Uh, oh, okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil alameen. You're not gonna finish like this! Faster!
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم لك يوم الدين ياك نبدو وياك نستعين يتنا سرطة مستقيم سرطة الذين لم تنهم غير مغضوم ينهم للضانين آمين Oh We're gonna make it brother we're gonna make it Everyone wants to finish the Quran by the 27th day At the same time if the recitation takes too long they complain that it's taking too long So some must just they pray Tata Wee at super fast speeds Super speed Tata Wee Okay alhamdulillah we finished the Quran But how much of it reached our hearts? has impacted our actions. If it just goes through one ear and out the other, then what have we really gained other than saying that, oh, we finished the Quran during Ramadan? SubhanAllah, the companions of the Prophet, they used to take 10 ayahs at a time. They would memorize, learn, and implement them. Today, masjids are competing against who can finish Tarawih faster. It's not like we have the best microphone systems in our masjids. And when you're reciting at 100 miles per hour, it makes it really hard to concentrate, bro. 8 versus 20 rakats. How many times have you heard this debate outside the masjid after Tarawih? People trying to convince each other that it's 8 rakats, no it's 20 rakats. I'm not going to get into the 8 versus 20 rakat debate, but I will ask this. Since when did Tarawih become the most important salah? I mean people treat it more important than the fart prayers. <laughs> oh you don't believe me? Next time during Ramadan, watch how many people are there during Isha and watch how many people come in during Tarawih. It makes you wonder if people are there for culture or for Islam. But that's a whole different video if you know what I'm saying. The 27th day of Ramadan Muslims. There are Muslims who pray throughout the whole year. Then you see Muslims who only pray during Ramadan. And then you see Muslims who only pray during the 27th day of Ramadan. I mean the masjid is full during Ramadan? Alhamdulillah. But for some reason there's that special group of people that come out of hibernation only on the 27th day of Ramadan. It makes you wonder where were these people throughout the rest of the year? Skip that! Where were they during Ramadan? You know what I'm saying? By watching this video you just see some of the silly things we do. I'm speaking to myself before I'm speaking to anyone else. I hope this is a reminder for all of us that we shouldn't take Ramadan for granted. Or treat it like another ritual. But rather, let's look at Ramadan as a blessing. We should say Alhamdulillah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a chance to live through Ramadan. An opportunity to get more reward and wipe away our sins. You see, some people think they can sin throughout the whole year and they hope that when Ramadan comes around, they're going to try to clear everything out. But the fact is, not everyone makes it to Ramadan. How many people are laying in their graves? who thought they're going to make it to Ramadan this year. They never made it. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us another chance to live through Ramadan, we can't continue to take it for granted. We can't continue to do the silly things that we do. Everyone is so close and nice during Ramadan. People go out of their ways to do good deeds. But it's like when Ramadan's over, we go back to our normal lives. Why can't the way we treat each other during Ramadan be our normal lives? So I guess my point is, inshallah, if we make it to another Ramadan, let's take advantage of it. By using that opportunity to increase our faith, our Iman. So when Ramadan ends, we are stronger and better Muslims, inshallah. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. Mm, no. Oh. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. Ah.